So we are here at Rafa's garage. So today we're working on the black XRS. So this is the bracket I was talking about. I forgot I have a spare motor here. Um, and I'm also missing the bracket for the um, header. So I'm gonna do that after I install the new header. This should be fun. Um, basically, I have to drop the subframe a little bit, loosen up those bolts right there. I believe I took off the N-Link, that way it could drop a little bit, um, that's all I need. I do have to race this car as high as possible, and it's pretty easy. We got a couple of bolts on the headers, and then the two bolts that uh, bolt onto the mid-pipe. I've already done this, so probably not going to walk you through it. So I'm going to remove everything from the top right now, which is <clears throat> just this air pump hose. There's that one right there, that clamp, that's it. <clears throat> and then the bolts up here for the header, cause I am gonna lift this pretty high to get those headers out. So might as well do this and not struggle. So there it is. I'm able to take off the three bolts that's on top or two nuts, one bolt. And I ran into a little problem. This is the air pound pose. It cracked, it broke. So I might need a new one. I'm gonna see if I could still use it if I cut it right here, but I doubt it. I might need another hose. So whatever, it is what it is. Let's lift it up and start working on the bottom. So I already lifted it up, took the tire on this side, and we're going to start working on the subframe. So we are going to take the sway bar off, the bolts, loosen up this bolt, that bolt, uh, loosen up that motor mount or tranny mount up there. Um, and that's about it. There should be more uh, subframe bolts down there. Um, and this thing should drop down a little bit um, and then just get the last two bolts down here and as you can see i have no bracket no bearing for the header or the or the bearing so i'm gonna get that fixed and take this header off and put the new ones on So I already did this side, and I also did the mount right here. I have to do the mount in the rear, and then the other side. So that's where I'm gonna get to it. So there it is, sway bars out, or the end link, the motor mount, that bolt. And this bolt is loose now. All I need is the header, the O2, I forgot. And that should be done. These are the last two. Took that one already off. No, this one's being in the butt. All done. Now for the fun part to take it out from this side. Oh, it's gonna be fun. So there it is, headers out. I had to remove the bolts over there in the back. Those over there. And then pry a little bit. It was a pain in the butt. So good thing I got a hose. I don't have to go buy another one. Comes with new gaskets, which I'm probably gonna use, new bolts. That's what happens when you buy new stuff. The flex pipe, I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it. I already have one. The bracket. Let me give you pipe for the 
welds, I guess. But, ooh, this is so nice. So very, very nice. brackets on the subframe is on all that's left is putting this together and the sway bar leak over there and i think i'm gonna see the motor mounts right there the front one and the rear one so i'm gonna get that done right now and put the wheels back on get it up and running this left is the bolts on top and the motor mount um the motor mount i'm gonna do it when i get a little bit of help so yeah so everything's back together i got an engine cover for it now just to put the oil on it and or the gear oil and start it up she all done ready to do a pull not really figured out i have a nail on this tire so i still can't do pulls but that i'll fix tomorrow morning and go for a test drive thanks for watching please like subscribe and i'm out